Welcome to 50 Ways to Succeed at Work, where you hear stuff about ways to succeed, even the most well-intentioned colleagues, advisors, careers officers and HR departments may never get around to mentioning. This is episode 30, Culture Creature. Supporting the culture makes you stand out. What exactly is company culture and why should it matter to you in your search for success at work? Almost every publication on an organization's activity mentions company culture or its equivalent, so it makes sense for you to get to grips with this tricky concept. Culture is about the way we do things around here. Does that sound too simple? Well, you can guess that it's not something that comes in a neat metric or even a fancy description. Check out the show notes to this podcast and see the 50 most inspirational company culture quotes of all time. Company culture is about behaviour, including yours. It's the total of behaviours and practices spread throughout the organisation. It influences what the organisation expects from its employees. Everything from how you talk to people, work attire, relationships, and how you treat colleagues, customers and others. To sum it all up then, company culture is about values. They show what's essential for people's behaviour. And examples include loyalty, honesty, integrity, and kindness. If you want to do well in your organisation, it's best to come to terms with the prevailing values. That means you actively support them through your behaviour. Values are different from reactions to the immediate moment, anger, impatience, busyness, and instead they describe how the organisation wants to be. That may include making a profit. But this is only one of many values, and not necessarily the most important one. So what is the most important value to look out for? While integrity, as the most critical value, is a subjective idea, we'll return to it in the last of the 50 Ways to Succeed at Work podcasts, and that's not due for a while. If you work for one of those top organisations, the leadership sets the company culture. The people who make it happen daily will be everyone including managers, supervisors, human resource teams, trainers, and all employees, including you. The best company cultures are built and reinforced by its people, your peers and your teammates. As an individual employee, perhaps with no power to supervise others, you can still have an essential impact within your local area of work. You can do several things, even early in your career to incorporate whole-person, workplace values into your organisation. Since values affect whether you succeed, failures to adopt the organisation's values is a sure way to find yourself out on a limb and maybe even out of a job. For example, in one organisation where I worked as a consultant, I arrived one day to learn that they'd just fired their best salesman. Why, I asked. Back came the reply, Because though he was brilliant, he failed to support our values. You have values too, and these need to be acceptable within the organisation. An extreme example would be resolving a conflict between valuing honesty and choosing dishonesty to make money. Some of the most high-profile organisations have failed to resolve that conflict. For example, Britain's most famous money launderer is the bank HSBC. It systematically cleansed the earnings of the Latin American drug cartels, for which it was fined $1 billion by the US government in 2012. Even that was tiny compared to the famous Dansk Bank scandal. You can see that at the end of the podcast show notes. A good value must be actionable. That is, you can observe people's behaviour. For example, your senior people may want you to be a good listener. But that's a wish rather than a core value. To turn it into action, you would have to show attentiveness, that is, being present, thoughtful and responsive to what others are saying. When senior people see you embracing the organisation's values, you boost your chances of success at work. Values act as a compass for both individuals and the organisation. They help to navigate decisions and actions. And because they don't change much, they're stable, and can often inspire people and make people proud. Practical actions that you can take to support values and affect the culture include 
Get to know your colleagues as people, not just co-workers. Be someone who goes out of the way to befriend new team members. Many people may feel out of place joining your organization remotely or adjusting to a hybrid environment. Invite them to lunch or chat over a virtual coffee. Suggest other people would be good for them to contact. And if you are in the office, take the initiative to introduce them yourself. This kind of small gesture can make all the difference. Your colleagues will begin to see you as a positive ally, a resource or a friend, all of which can increase your influence and potential for growth. Celebrate others. Recognize and celebrate team members for their work. It's a great way to set an example and develop a positive culture, even if it's only within your department. Your actions will signal that you're paying attention, that you notice other people's contributions and that you're an advocate of their work. Show up for people without resentment. Support people when called upon to make a new contribution. Unexpected requests for involvement can make you feel either got at or you can rewrite the script and see yourself stepping up to support someone in need. Set an example. When invited, join resource groups, short-term projects or long-term teams focused on building a better workplace. By participating, you help yourself by strengthening your internal network. You develop communication skills. Demonstrate your willingness to take on more responsibility and improve your workplace. Further, you establish yourself as a reliable and caring role model, especially for those new to the company. So what action am I proposing? Well, first of all, look around your organization and decide what are its most important values. Secondly, check how your values fit with those of your organization. And thirdly, support the organization's culture by promoting its values in practical ways through your daily behavior. And my takeaway from all of this? Support your organization's culture by letting people see you demonstrate its values through your daily actions. You've been listening to an episode of Andrew's 50 Ways to Succeed at Work. For more episodes, subscribe free to my regular weekly podcasts. You can catch up on past ones at the50ways.site, where you can also become a foundation member with access to e-learning units, transcripts, further reading links, and the forum where you can ask questions, share problems, and join a growing community of people who seriously want to succeed at work. Thanks for listening, and bye for now, until next week.